Welcome to another episode of the marathon. I'm just coming on here to give you a little intro. I filmed everything and it's so disjointed. <laughs> you go from like the morning of Thomas's birthday, some, I mean, you're gonna see it, but I just wanted to start by saying I'm well aware that it's disjointed, but I wanted to document it anyways. Enjoy Thomas's unconventional but very memorable 10th birthday. <laughs> uh, I feel all kinds of ways, which I'm sure many of you could have predicted. I did not predict, and I'll I get into it later on, so enjoy. <laughs> driving there and driving back all in the same day is gonna be great for him. He is skipping school. He's eating chips at 9 a.m. because we've already been in the car for two hours. It's a great day for Thomas. I wanted to explain a few things. One, we're going there and back in the same day because as I am filming this, we are still under travel restrictions where I live in BC in Canada. So we're not allowed to leave our town unless it's for work or a medical appointment, correct? Correct. Right? Or, is there any other reasons? Not really. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, there'd be family reasons, like there's family emergencies. Reasons. Emergencies. So. No non-essential. Non-essential travel. And this is essential, Children's Hospital. But we were planning the reason why it's on Thomas's birthday is I had planned five days that he was gonna spend with his grandparents, Jeremy's parents, who live in the Lower Mainland, and the unicorn and I were gonna have some respite, a hotel, relax, but then we got more restrictions due to COVID, so kept the appointment, unfortunately canceled everything else, and here we are. And we're going there and back in the same day. And I packed a lot of food, and I filmed that food, so I thought I would show that to you here. This might look like a lot of food for one day, but the goal is to not have to buy food anywhere and avoid everything as possible because of COVID. So, thought I would just show you what I've packed. A little apple and orange cut up for Thomas. Just two bubblies, one for the unicorn and I, just because I don't wanna be stopping a lot to go to the bathroom, and then we'll pack various bottles of water, some celery and carrots, some snack peas. This is like a quinoa veg bean mix, like a salad. Um, lots of ice packs that's gonna go in this cooler here. Then last night I made Thomas some chicken strips in the air fryer, the Gardein vegan chicken strips and then a couple of apples, one for the unicorn and I. Then I've made us sandwiches, which are um, like vegan meat and cheese and some like arugula and stuff. And then we pack the pickles on the side, tip from my sister so the buns don't get soggy. Um, and then last night we had pizza, 
to celebrate Thomas's birthday early. So this is the leftover pizza we're bringing and then some leftover fries. Plus I air fried Thomas some potato. Then we've got Cheerios and peanuts. This is just a bun cut up if Thomas wants something light and dry. Some Annie's, some Twizzlers, courtesy have his auntie. Thomas's favorite gum, Nooch Pop, and then also some goldfish for Thomas. So it looks like a lot of food, but this will be basically all our snacks, lunch, and dinner, because we'll be on the road like well past dinner. So the hope is that we won't have to stop. If we do, that's fine, but best to be prepared. Another wild thing that has happened on this trip is it is May 18th and there is a snowfall advisory for the highway passes. So for us to get from where we live to Vancouver, there's two different routes. Both have five to 10 centimeters of snow in the forecast today. We don't have snow tires on anymore. Fun fact, if you don't live in a wintry place, um, you have different kinds of tires. <laughs> and we've taken both of ours off, both of our vehicles, because you're supposed to on by April 30th. So I have all seasons, and we're gonna see what happens. If there is snow on Thomas's birthday, my sister made a really good point. She's like, you have to stop and take a photo. When would you have ever thought that? Also, side note, today's Tuesday. Saturday was 30, de 30 degrees. Sunday was 30 degrees. Yesterday it got up to like 26 maybe? 20, it was a little cooler, 24. 24, and there's a chance we're gonna hit snow today. So if we do, I'll film it. I thought I would show you some of the sights. A little chatty 10 year old in the back seat and bring you along on a vlog. I know a lot of people really enjoy seeing the BC scenery. So let's show you some. Children's Hospital. Also, 11 is the entrance we needed, and this is where we parked. <sighs> Parking karma. If you've read You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero, you know what I'm talking about. It's also sunny in Vancouver. Never happens. So little T-Bone is just having a little pizza, a little iPad, mm. little birthday boy. Mm. Your birthday, you're 10 today. He was great on the drive down. I mean, he always is. Thomas just loves a car ride. <clears throat> so, we made it here at 12.30, appointments at one, which is perfect. You never know, like, what traffic you're gonna hit. You never know, just weather. We did see snow, as you saw, but it wasn't on the road, so that was encouraging. I'm hoping it behaves itself today, while, before we drive back through it. There was tons of rush hour at like 11.30. <laughs> so, um, yeah, last year when we came, we got here almost two hours early and today half an hour. You just never know. But I've got a little gift in the back for Thomas's audiologist. I'm not gonna get it out and show you. Um, but today's the last appointment we have with her and it is, she's the longest health professional on Thomas's team that we've ever had, like by far. So it's really special to see her today and then give her a couple of gifts as a thank you. She's been so wonderful to us. Yeah, we're gonna get ready. He's gonna go rock his appointment and then we'll drive home. <laughs> the best birthday ever.
it's actually the next day. I stopped vlogging yesterday after our appointment. Hope you enjoyed all of the scenic drives. I, I'm not naked, it may look like it. I'm wearing a little dress today. The appointment went really well. It was like everything, Thomas's hearing is good, all of his equipment, both outside his ear and inside his head. Everything's looking great. She said the scans were so great they could be in a textbook. So that's encouraging. We gave her her gifts and she was very touched and it was just hard to say goodbye, honestly. But my battery died. <laughs> um, it was hard to say goodbye because we have had her, her Thomas's whole cochlear implant journey and she's the longest person we've had on his team. So I just have so much comfort in her support and her expertise. And the unknown is unnerving, but we persevere. Luckily, we don't have another appointment, hopefully, for a year so the new person can like get situated and stuff before we see them. But I got very like reflective about Thomas turning 10 and I'm curious if that's happened to any of you who are parents where I wasn't expecting that but it happened so I'm going to share some of that with you but first we are going to pick up more pizzas than I can hold <laughs> and we are giving Thomas's class a pizza party today to celebrate T-Bone's birthday because we aren't having like an actual birthday party and following all the COVID restrictions this is allowed so I'm very excited to go it's not a surprise uh, but I'm sure the parents were grateful to not have to make lunches I was grateful to not have to make a lunch for him today and it's just fun so Thomas will be surprised but we're gonna go pick him up and then deliver them. So I'll wrap up this vlog after that. My car has never smelled better. Seven large pizzas for some very lucky kids and their teachers and their support staff. I realize this is a very disjointed vlog, but I wanted to finish it. It's days later. We went to Children's on Tuesday and it's now Saturday. I have been feeling very reflective, honestly really tired after that trip and after Thomas's birthday. I wasn't expecting to feel any real type of way with his 10th birthday. I should have known better. Um, but I really started thinking about like all we've been through together, his health, loss, just everything, COVID, every like ear infection, scary doctor's appointment, scary specialist, every specialist who's changed. Like I said, the one we saw on Tuesday, I think was the longest we had ever had one person on our team. And with that brings a lot of like unknown and nervousness for me. You know, also really reflecting on how proud I am of Thomas and how proud I am of myself and every with everything that we've been through and we've managed to overcome. A friend of mine gave me a bottle of wine and said, you know, like she, ever since she became a mom, she really thinks it's unfair that we don't celebrate the parents on a kid's birthday. And I really loved that. It was nice to be recognized. I got some nice text messages from family and also um, from some of you saying like, you know, really sit for a second and congratulate yourself on a decade of parenting and even if you haven't had a traumatic 10 years like we have, I encourage you to do the same because parenting is hard. <laughs> and there's, even though there's a million and six books, there's like no real book for what you're going through. You know, this is the fourth birthday that we've celebrated without Thomas's dad. And that's really hard. Uh, even though we're happy and we are doing well and Thomas is thriving and talking and I'm happy you know 
this is always just a real shit time of year. So Tom's birthday, and then we're coming up on the anniversary of Jeremy taking his life, which is just difficult. And four birthdays, you know, I just, the number one thing that I have feelings about with Jeremy's loss is Thomas's loss and his loss of a dad and Jeremy missing out on so much of Thomas's development and love and joy and momentum. And then I get bummed that a joyous occasion like Thomas's 10th birthday is tainted by this shitty thing, you know? So there's just a lot of that. Um, I just wish it was a solely happy occasion. And that's really hard. So I've definitely had some down days this week. That's why it's taken me this long to film this extra. Yeah, I just wish things were unaffected. And I don't know how long it will be before they are. You know, as Thomas gets older, he looks so much like his dad. Um, and it's just really hard. Uh, so if you find that on like occasions, that there's just this like shitty thing that hangs over it, I feel that too. You know, going to children's hospital, I was thinking of all the times we went and how hard it was and how hard it was on us as a couple and Jeremy and me and you know reflecting with the audiologist about that because she she had been with us since Thomas was three so she knew Jer and she's like I could tell you guys were struggling so very proud of my son very proud of everything that he's been through and he's accomplished and he's overcome in such a little amount of time 10 years Thomas has been through more than I would wish on anybody I've been through more than I would wish on anybody so we're hoping that the next 10 years is just like mellow and calm and happy <laughs> like upward trajectory but I would also just settle for like this honestly so this is not a typical uh my son turns 10 birthday vlog but why would you expect that from me <laughs> if this is your first video that you'll never get that kind of content on this channel um what's okay what's typical what's normal not this house uh, but thanks for watching <laughs> thanks for enjoying this really like mishmashy thank you and thanks for being with us for 10 years i started my vlog channel uh well, I started this channel when Thomas was a baby and I was on mat leave. So you've been with me this whole time and I couldn't have done it without you. And I don't mean that in a cheesy way. I mean that literally like I don't know where I would be without this channel and your support. So thank you. You've made it this far. Thank you for watching. Lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And in the next 10 years of this marathon, here's hoping for some calm. So just like even keel times. Thanks for watching. Bye.